I'm a salesman, I'm a sales trainer, don't you play your games with me. These are common things that you hear in the world of sales when buyers are trying to intimidate you. I'm Scott Sylvan Bell. It's June 4th, 2017, 2.43 in the afternoon. Perfect day to talk about sales, perfect day to talk about closing, and even a better day to talk about how buyers try to intimidate you. Now you just gotta know that when you have sales to do, there's a process that you gotta follow. And I gotta let you know, when I was a salesperson, I would have people from the very beginning tell me, hey Scott, I'm a sales trainer, I don't need all this information, I just wanna get to the price, right? And if you fall for this, I'm just gonna get to the price thing, you're not gonna make any sales, it's not gonna work out for you. So, there's a couple ways to deal with this. Somebody says, hey Scott, I'm a sales trainer, I'm a salesman, I just want you to get to the price. Well then, you know, great, when I get to the very end, you're not gonna tell me you gotta think about it then, because you know how stupid that sounds when, when you're in the sales position, are you? No, I'm not. And then it's your job to hold that salesperson accountable. It's your job to make sure that you call them out for what they did. And this is one of the perfect examples for like old school selling of earlier you said, hey sales dude, hey sales chick, remember earlier you said you'd make a decision, what happened? What's causing you to not make one today? Because you know, think about it, when you're in my shoes, this, this is shenanigans, this is, this is not cool. Right? and call them out for what they're doing. Just know that a lot of times salespeople and sales trainers will try to intimidate you. So I go out and I buy a car a couple months ago and I really didn't want to tell the guy that I trained salespeople and that I work with salespeople on a daily basis because I wanted to see his process. I wanted to see what he was up to. I wanted to see what kind of questions he asked. But the second that I let people know, look, I train salespeople, they shortcut and they're like, all right, let's get to the money. I'm like, well, time out. I want to know what I'm getting. I want to know what I'm getting for the money. I want to know what you're going to do for me. I want to know how I'm going to get taken care of. Don't go into full like I'm going to, I'm just going to give you the minimal, minimal, minimal amount of information and get to the money. I don't know what I'm getting. So it's a huge mistake that I see salespeople make. I see salespeople try to intimidate me all the time when I'm, when I'm doing sales. And sometimes I'll be with a company and a guy will say, hey, look, you know, I used to do sales before. And here's the thing. I just want you to tell me how much money it is. I'm going to say, look, if I don't tell you what you're going to get, I'm going to promise you right now, you are going to freak out about how much I charge. I promise you. You're gonna freak out about how much I charge. You're probably gonna wet your pants a little bit. And like, look, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do back and I'm gonna push back and intimidate them. You don't even know what you're getting. You don't even know what I'm gonna do for you. In fact, when I give you my number, you're gonna wet your pants a little bit, right? And then like, the, you can see him pull back a little bit and go, oh my goodness, this guy's a sales guy. I get it. I totally understand what's going on. But you have to follow a process and you're letting buyers intimidate you. It's costing you sales. You're not doing your job. And just think about this. If you're a salesperson, you're watching, which you should be, Right? Think about the last time that a salesperson or sales trader tried to intimidate you and you made the sale or didn't make the sale. Right? You've got decisions that you've got to make and there's tons of different ways to do it. I give you like three or four of them. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question or story. That would be fantastic. To the right, to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you got to do. You got to subscribe. And then last of all, you can send it, send it to all your friends via stumble upon Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sublin Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.